hates those ribbons, AP. Everybody's just removing them. That's a joke to me. No offense, but totally offense. I am dramatic for this dramatic goat. Fight me. Hello everyone. Hi. My name is Gemma if you didn't already know and if you didn't know hi. My name is Gemma and welcome back. Today I am on this side of the screen which could only mean one thing. A reaction video. Yay. So today we are going to be reviewing Angelic Pretty's winter collection of 2022. I am so excited for this one because they just released a Angelic Pretty winter lookbook. Luckily, I was able to find the entire lookbook online, not just like scans of the pages, but like the actual online version of the lookbook. So of course, as soon as I discovered that, I took tons of screenshots and I posted it on Lolita Updates, which if you are not already on that Facebook group, definitely request to be in there. And I will link the e lookbook in the description below so that you can see it for yourself. I know everybody's like, dying to hear my opinions of the collection. So yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and give my opinions on these dresses. Let's go. So we're starting strong with the pink label. This first one is fancy ornament. Now right here we have the pink OP. It is darling. I love the snow globes on the print. There's snow globes, there's ornaments, and there's this little Christmas cat. Christmas cat! I'm gonna make a print called Christmas cat now. Um, I'm taking it. Copyrighted. Sorry. <laughs> but there's this little cat who's like sitting on top of a present or maybe they're like in the present box and they are the present. It's like literally so cute. I love cats so much. I get so emotional. <laughs> I want a cat. I really love how this one is a border print and it's really cute. This gorgeous like sort of rose pink is adorable. I love the puffy sleeves. I can tell there's like a high neck collar. Possibly a yoke might be underneath that ribbon but the ribbon itself has like snowflakes in it and it's really like delicate and gorgeous and then the lace is snowflake lace at the bottom perfection I also love this cat ear headband that Nisa has on that is so so adorable and fluffy I am loving the purple colorway honestly I feel like the purple is the best colorway for fancy ornament it just looks so wintry and the print really pops on the dress in the purple colorway and you can really see like the snowflakes and all the tiny little details really pop out on the print with the purple colorway. Purple and lavender is kind of a unique color for like holiday prints and like winter prints. So I love to see it. I love this blouse that Nisa Nakamura is wearing. It has these really delicate sleeves and polka dots all around it. It matches the dress perfectly. It's super cute. So I give Fancy Ornament a 9 out of 10. I don't give it a 10 out of 10 only because the fabric looks like a little underwhelming. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just like your standard polyester dress, which I don't have anything against, but I feel like there could have been like something a little bit more. I feel like maybe a princess overlay would be really cute on the OP. It's not like perfection. It could be better. So I give it a nine out of 10, but still very much a chef's kiss. <laughs> the next one is one that I am super excited for. And I know it is one that a lot of other sweet little ladies are super excited for because it is a freaking chocolate print. We cannot ever get enough of chocolate prints. Since 2016, we have been in a drought of chocolate prints. We've only ever seen chocolate rosette re-releases and we haven't really seen anything new besides Bear's Chocolaterie. I want more chocolate prints and we are getting even more in this collection. We welcome chocolate tea time. Bam. This one is so cute. So darling. Now this one is an all over print, which people aren't nearly as like obsessed with versus border prints. I still really like overall prints. I think they're cute. I love the pink and brown colorway combination. I think it's gorgeous. And so this OP really just like hits the spot. It's chocolate tea time. So you have tea time motifs. You have teas and cakes and ribbons. You also have like a little delicate sort of rose pattern in the background which is just so cute on the op i love how there's like buttons here and then you have like the thing behind the buttons has the lace on it and it's very cute <laughs> That's it, I'm going to fashion school, you guys. I, I need to, <laughs> I need to study up. But yeah, I also really love the ribbons on it. They're brown and white, like striped ribbons, which I think are really cute. Way, way freaking better than the weird ass ribbon on Ichigo Bread Bakery. What the f <laughs> Everybody 
hates those ribbons, AP. Everybody's just removing them. So this one, this one works. This one works because it's striped, but at least it like has the colors that match the print AP. I, it, it makes sense here. Why was the other one red, white, and blue? I don't know. <laughs> The apron that she's wearing over the OP has a little teacup shaped pocket with embroidery on it that says Angelic Pretty. That's like so precious. I buy it. It's so cute. I'm really loving the brown colorway. The background is kind of this like light mocha color. It's really cute. And then like the chocolate pastries and cakes just really stand out on this background. The only thing I don't really like about this print, chocolate tea time is I'm not like obsessed with the little curly Q collar and like the curly Q detail on the bodice. Now I get it. It's kind of like gingerbread-y. Like the motif makes sense, but I think I'm just not a huge fan of it, especially on the JSK. Like you get this big like white stripe right here on the bodice, but then you don't get that detail anywhere else on the dress really. I think it makes more sense on the OP because then at least you have like the apron that brings in that sort of solid white detail back in like into your coordinate but yeah I'm just like not loving that curly Q sort of thing if it didn't have it I think I would like it a little bit more but I still think it's really really cute and I'm just so grateful for more chocolate prints so I'm gonna give chocolate tea time an 8 out of 10 and the next print is you guys are not gonna believe it we're literally so spoiled it's another chocolate print <laughs> this print is called chocolate Chocolatier. This one is a chocolate print, but it's a lot more of like reminiscent of the classic chocolate prints that we had like Melty Ribbon Chocolate, Royal Chocolate, and all of those glorious stars of the show. The OP construction is like kind of funky to me. We have like the background is solid and then we have like a melty chocolate color here. We've got this like sort of melty-ish looking yoke here with a ribbon. I love like that sort of chocolate ribbon detail. Very good. And then we also have the chocolate pattern on the sleeves and then on an overskirt that almost kind of looks like an apron, but I'm pretty sure it's part of the OP. Heart-shaped pockets, brown lace, very cute. And then we also are shown an apron skirt. Now I actually really love apron skirts because I think they're super versatile. You can wear it together with the apron part or you can take off the apron part and then you have just a skirt. So it's like two pieces in one almost. And this one is really, 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 really cute. This colorway is like a mint chocolate colorway, which has been trending for a while. Very, very cute. And a heart-shaped bodice. It even has embroidery on the bust that says Angelic Pretty. The chocolate print is consistent throughout. Unlike the OP, we kind of have this sort of like blocking situation where we have like a solid part of the dress and then we have like the chocolate part of the dress. I think it's really like interesting, but I much more prefer like the all over chocolate print. So it's like chocolate in your face. <laughs> I'm very curious if they're gonna have a JSK and what that looks like. And then the blouse that she's wearing with it just matches perfectly. It looks like we also get some socks. Like this one is really, really cute. I give chocolate tur, tur, chocolate tur. I give chocolatier an eight out of 10. If the OP was like an all over chocolate print, like the apron skirt, I would give it a 10 out of 10. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the OP, but I most definitely am a fan of the apron skirt. I might have to get that one, honestly. I give it an eight out of 10. Okay, so the next thing we are shown is a freaking coat. I love love like super extra Lolita coats. I think they're super duper cute. Like if I'm gonna wear a coat over my entire cord that I worked so hard to create, it's gonna be a really freaking cute coat. Like, am I right? So here we are shown dramatic coat. I think this is gorgeous. I love this like layered collar look. I love the overall print. The color is gorgeous. I love the fluffy collar. I love how you can put a bow here. Here, the little capelet on top, the big fluffy sleeve.
sleeves with the ribbons on top of them. And it's so long and it has like so much room for poof. And I think it can work really well for super sweet coordinates, but since it's kind of like a dustier pink, it can also be like really regal and classy as well. I love the heart pockets. I love just like how many ribbons there are. And in the back, there is a freaking bustle. <laughs> now I'm not like, I don't think I own a single dress with a bustle. I don't know, they're like not quite my thing, but I'm kind of getting into them and it looks so good on this coat that like I am dramatic for dramatic coat, okay? 10 out of 10. It's really, really cute. The only thing is that it's like almost $600. I do not think I'm going to be purchasing that one, at least new, but it is very cute and I very much appreciate it. So yes, I am dramatic for this dramatic coat. <laughs> fight me. <laughs> so the next dress is actually a re-release of a very popular print called Pretty Frill, or not quite a print because it is printless. <laughs> it is a solid color dress with just like really detailed construction. You have tons of frills, tons of lace, tons of bows. It looks like they are re-releasing the solid colors of Pretty Frill again. So if you haven't gotten your hands on that and want to, heck and go for it. I am more drawn towards printed dresses. It's gorgeous, but like I've seen it before, you know, it's a re-release, so I'm not like super excited for it, but I do think the construction is quite beautiful and impressive. So I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. It's a classic. You can't go wrong with pretty frill. Let's go on and look at the purple label for the Angelic Pretty 2022 Winter Collection. Let's go. First off, we're starting extremely strong. We have Rose Tassel. This is gorgeous. It's most definitely like your fancy tea party Hina Lolita dress. It is so pretty. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I hate tassels with a burning passion. Tassels you usually see on like Midwestern wear and like that's a joke to me. No offense, but totally offense. Yeehaw land. I don't know her. <laughs> Insert clip of Gemma hating tassels here. And it has these tassel zippers. These kept falling off constantly too. And whenever they did, I would like rejoice. And it has another tassel detail. And I haven't used this yet, so that's probably why I haven't taken it off, but I will attempt to do so now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so me and tassels, we don't have the best history, but honestly, on this dress, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the print. I love the lace. I love the sleeves. I love the pearls. I love how extra it is. I even like the freaking bonnet, and I don't usually wear bonnets, okay? I don't think I own a single one at this moment. The overlay on the OP is absolutely gorgeous, and like, you'd think that like going from the OP into the JSK, you're gonna be like, oh, well, the JSK is gonna be underwhelming because look at those sleeves, look at the collar, look at the everything, right? Um, no, here is a JSK and it is just as gorgeous. I am obsessed. I love like this blue colorway, like the ivory is like, mm-mm, mm-hmm, chef's a kiss, but like the blue and the pink is so gorgeous. And it like, again, the print really pops on the blue background. You have the gorgeous lace overlay on the JSK. You have even more ribbons on the JSK, which I had no idea was possible seeing the gorgeous over-the-top OP. Ribbons lining the bust, on the waist, at the hem of the dress, and the sleeves are gorgeous. They're flouncy and floofy and they just go Wow, the blouse that she's wearing with this, the blouse in itself is like a work of art, honestly. If I'm unable to get this dress, I at least have to get my hands on that super extra blouse. It is just so gorgeous. There's not a single piece of criticism that I can give for this dress, either in the OP or the JSK. They really just knocked it out of the park with this. 10 out of 10 for Rose Tassel. 
soul. The next dress that we have is called Lacey Prima. Now this is one of their sort of non-printed, more casual dresses. Well, I don't know if I could say casual, honestly. It's completely covered in lace. <laughs> Here we just see the OP. It's sort of like this all over pink lace dress with these long sleeves and these contrasting black ribbons. This is really gorgeous. Actually, I really like the cut of the bodice here. It's kind of like a lower square neckline, which is very reminiscent of like Victorian era dresses. Very cute. I'm not understanding this headpiece here. I think it's a canotier where you kind of like clip it on the side of your head, but it also looks like it has bunny ears. Um, I'm not quite sure if it like matches with the dress, like not the bunny ear motif. I feel like if it didn't have that, it would like make a little bit more sense. People really love the style of these sort of like non-printed lace dresses. It's just not my style. You know, it's really pretty and the construction is gorgeous, but like other than that, like it's a little plain for me. I give it a five out of 10, not really my style. Next up, we have yet another coat. I love coats, so I'm super excited to see them. This one is called Fluffy Heart Coat. This one is actually quite interesting. I'm just super surprised to see this kind of silhouette coming from a Japanese Lolita fashion brand. It's like a straight, cut coat. Usually with the Lita coats, you see like the big, like you give allowance for the poof, but this is kind of just straight up and down. So either you have to wear a sort of lighter petticoat or none at all. But besides the cut, the puffy little heart texture on it looks so satisfying to touch. I want to squish it. I really love the collar on it and the sort of ruffles that it has there. The giant ribbon is gorgeous and the pockets are so so, so, so sweet. They're in line with the ruffles and then they have little bows at the top. Very cute. I feel like there could have been some ruffle like on the hem and on the edges of the sleeves too because they just kind of abruptly stop. So I feel like just kind of putting a little bit more effort there. Lolita's would have really appreciated that attention to detail. I feel like that just would have like really finished off the coat. So I feel like that was kind of a missed opportunity there. And again, like the cut, I don't know. Oh, it's really reminding me of like milk. Milk has some coats like this that are really cute and they're long and straight and you know they're really cute for winter but they're not quite for a Lolita because of the cut of the coat and the lack of allowance for poof. And I know that Angelic Pretty has been coming out with a lot more different and experimental cuts for Lolita fashion like the milkshake sort of collection. There's no poof there but it's also really really cute and still is very reminiscent of the brand in ways. So maybe this coat is just kind of meant to go with more of their like other pieces that maybe aren't quite the cupcake shape silhouette like we're used to. So honestly, respect for coming out with something new and different, but I give it, I think overall a seven out of 10, right? There's just like some missed opportunities. So seven out of 10. And now this is the last dress. It's called Library. Yes, it's just called library. Yep, Toshokan Wan Pisu. Toshokan library. So yes, this series is just called library. Now we're only shown an OP here. I am assuming that this is kind of like a faux two piece style one piece, if that makes sense. Um, So it kind of cuts here and looks like it's a top and a skirt. I believe it is actually an OP. Very cute. It's just like a simple red gingham dress. What's kind of different is there's these different panels on the skirt. It like alternates from a straight horizontal and vertical <laughs> plaid print, but then it has panels that kind of shift and alternate that go diagonal as well, which I think is quite unique. And honestly, I really love plaid. I think it's really cute in Lolita fashion. It's very like autumnal and very fitting for the winter, especially in this red colorway. It looks like a super easy piece to just throw on. I like how the skirt is kind of longer. It's kind of more of like a midi sort of skirt length, which I think is really cute. And of course, like I'm a sucker for like the sailor collars or like the really wide Peter Pan collars I think are really cute. Yeah, I think it's actually really cute. Now it is definitely like a simple dress. So I feel like this one is kind of one I would probably maybe pick up if I found like a good deal on it secondhand. I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to try to get it like on the bloodbath. Actually, I don't think that this one would be a bloodbath. This kind of seems like a dress that would probably go on sale, but I'm not like crazy 
crazy about it. Very cute, but it's just definitely not a need for me. It's just something that maybe I would pick up if I found like really cheap for like a daily dress. So I give this a five out of 10. I feel like this one is kind of underwhelming. We kind of need those sort of like plainer printless dresses to sort of round out a collection. So I understand it, but I'm not dying for it. So five out of 10. <laughs> All right, that was the entire collection. Honestly, we had some like really good pieces that I'm like actually super excited about. I think in this release, there's honestly something for everyone. Honestly, out of all the releases, I think I'm the most excited for Rose Tassel and I'm really excited for Chocolatier. I'm just super excited that we're finally getting some more new chocolate prints out. That's not just a re-release of freaking chocolate rosette. Stop it, AP. We have enough chocolate rosettes out there now, okay? I would like to see another Melty Ribbon chocolate release. Anybody with me? I think so. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think of the collection and tell me in the comments below which print of this collection is your favorite. If you're not already subscribed, click that like button, turn on the notification bell <laughs> so that you can actually be notified when I release my videos because honestly, this algorithm is not favoring me lately. So please actually interact with my videos so that you can actually be notified when I upload. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that you keep on smiling and I will see you in my next video content. Bye. Snar. Hi. Oh my God.